Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I have a rather interesting video for you guys. Um, it's not like a build guide or anything. It's actually probably one of the biggest um, question marks that GG has kind of ever done for their game. So recently, like, I don't know, maybe 12 hours ago, six hours ago, they released a patch for 3.2.0B, uh, which enabled four beast crafting recipes that were previously not possible. Um, one of them that they allowed or uh, allowed you to do now was the one that they teased before, which allows you to split an item's mods, um, which means you can kind of like almost mirror an item. Now, the problem with that on what happened is that they did not uh, test it properly as stated um, here that it was pitched in the wrong place. It needs further work and make sure it's been appropriate. Well, anyway, let's let's go and explain kind of what happened. So I'm going to pull up a couple Reddit posts here and show you guys something that happened. So with the new way of being able to split enchants, which doesn't take more than, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes to farm, uh, you can actually dupe pretty much like anything in the game. Uh, I don't know if you can dupe uniques. I haven't really done it. I don't want to involve myself in it because I don't really like it. But for example, you can clone helmet enchants. So if you find a rare helmet enchant, you pretty much have as many as you want. You can just do whatever you want with them. Uh, now, of course, this has been put on a stop and a hold, but players were able to do it for I don't even know how long. I can't even throw a number. Since whenever the patch went live, I'm sure not that long after somebody figured it out. And from there, you know, one person after another. Uh, you were also able to dupe six links. Just to show you an example here of Etup playing. Uh, Etup went in here. Let's see. So you can see here he did the sacrifice with this one dude to get the six link, which is one of the ways you can do it. So you get a random six link base. And then he sacrificed again to split it, and it actually splits the item in half, keeping the six link, which the problem with this is this now creates like an infinite loop of currency because you're spending, I don't know, one or two scours for the recipe because you'll be able to trade beasts after a week of beast, you know, beastery league being out. So you spend, I don't know, an alk or two alk, I don't know, let's say, just say two chaos for this, and you can dupe an item, which now is a six link, which is... One, not only kind of like something that's... I mean, you like the idea of getting a six link. Usually you work a lot for this item, but it's just instant. Instant gratification now. Or you can just sell it to the store, which... Or not the store, but you know, the vendor. Get a divine orb out of it. And a divine orb... Now the divine orb has been completely destroyed. So not only were you able to do things like this in Helmet Enchants, though. Even goes to like... I don't know exactly how this happened, but Etip ended up with two headhunters. I mean, uh, like headhunters, shall we say anymore? Um... Then Rise ended up cloning, you can actually do it with Elder and Shaped mods as well. So, for example, he had an Opal Ring uh, with an Elder mod, which the chances of finding an Elder Opal... I mean, I'll give you an example. Um, I leveled to 100 on... Well, I guess... No, that wasn't even out there anyway. But uh, I, I've never found an Elder Opal or an Elder, like, Marble or any of those. It's very, very rare to find them. Like, I mean... Maybe, maybe a couple people have them in the current league. Maybe, I, I, I don't know, maybe not. It gets very rare. And you here you can see you can just make an infinite amount of them by using the split an item into two. You can see there's not even like a, there's not even like a unique required for this. Um, and uh, after you do this, let's see, let me just speed it up a little bit. You'll see here that it drops and boom. And then the second one is located right there. So... This has kind of like killed a lot of fun for me personally and a lot of other people. Kind of just because it kind of changes the whole progression of the game. To me, it's fun creating things that are kind of unique and going at the game a little bit different. But I don't really like the whole shower of currency that's happening. And, you know, there's a lot of conflicting opinions. There's one side of opinions that goes, well, it doesn't really affect you. So you shouldn't really complain about it or just go play solo self-found. And there's the other side of people that are like, well, I genuinely work really hard and like to play the game at my own pace. And it's just ludicrous to see, like, it's just, it's crazy. Like, this doesn't make any sense. Some people are asking for a rollback. Some people are asking for the dupers to get banned. Um, personally, if, if you want my opinion, I don't think that they should roll the game back. And I don't think that they should ban anyone. I think that they should understand that this is about something that's kind of happening every league. Not duping and stuff, but there are a lot of really odd, quirky mechanics and stuff in the game that don't make any sense. Like, if you take the beginning of this league, 
the whole netting things was like kind of awkward. Like, let's be real. I don't think there's a single person that could disagree and be like, yeah, the targeting is a bit weird and that's it, you know? Okay, so we'll touch up on the targeting, but that's something that you could have fixed beforehand, right? Then they make a community post saying, hey, you know, do you guys want to be able to catch, you know, dead monsters or not? And like, that's kind of weird, like asking the community for it. I feel like I know you want to take the community feedback, but like, look at what, like, look at what just happened. Like, you need to take control of your own game and realize the mistakes that you make and kind of fix that. And I hate to kind of say this, but I feel like, I feel like ever since the Xbox kind of got released, Rip Project PT, PoE has been kind of rushing a bit of content. Um, and I'm not here to bash them or anything. I love the game. You know, I, I try to play it all the time. I, I mean, I fuck, I pretty much play the game. It's like the only game I play during the seasons, right? Um, but they're working too hard to push out content. And they even said it. Chris Wilson said, I don't know, somewhere down here. You guys can look through at that. They were like really pressed for time. And it was like this, the shortest time, like the shortest amount of time they had for this league. But the problem is like, they put out the Ascendancy, which I think majority of players were very happy with the Ascendancy changes, but they were not very happy with the league. Um, they, they, they could have just simply like added the Ascendancy stuff and then maybe put in a two or three week race, right? And I understand a lot of people are going to be like, oh my God, why would you put in a two or three week race? That's, you know, well, not everybody likes racing and blah, blah, blah. But there's a lot of positive things that come out of it. So one, they typically add uh, MTX rewards to it. I don't care who you are majority of people don't make a lot of money and majority of people like free stuff so you know what they're gonna do they're gonna play just for even a little bit to just get a little incentive you know see what's you know they could just you know tweak a little bit in this stuff but more importantly as well twitch is a really big part of this right twitch is a big part of it because when you see something happen on poe it's literally posted right here um for some reason ggg waits for all, everything to kind of get to reddit first so they wait for it to get to Reddit, then they see it on Reddit, and then they look at it on Reddit, and they ask Reddit for their opinion, and they make decisions based off of that. I think that they really need to focus more on their actual, like, their game, you know? They should pay attention to what's happening on this. But anyway, uh, sorry, I didn't mean to ramble on a bit there. I was saying they could have just introduced something like a short little segue, um, you know, let players figure out. They can test their builds for next league, you know, have fun, see what the streamers are playing. You know, oh, I like that build. Okay, sure, I'll try this build for next league. And just do something minor. There's so many things that they can touch up on that they haven't. They can go back and redo a bit of Forsaken Masters. Now, please don't bash me at this. I don't code. I don't know how to code. I'm just throwing out ideas because everyone's got a million ideas for them and we don't need to add more content to the game. Like, there's a ton of content that just needs to be revamped. I'm sure if you change the leveling process of the Forsaken Masters to make it feel less like dailies and a bit more, I don't know, fun or something else, a lot of people would still do it. Now, there's some people that do like the current system, but it doesn't mean it can't get revamped. Threshold Jewels. Threshold Jewels are like a good placeholder right now because <clears throat> they allow you to modify a skill to be the way you want to play it um, or, you know, add an extra multiplier. But it also sacrifices a bit of customization because it's not allowing you to use a a threshold jewel, or sorry, like a, not a threshold jewel, but an actual, like, sorry, I can't figure out what I was going to do. An actual jewel, you know, like a, like a, you know, percent max ES, life, crit multi, etc. <clears throat> they can work on, on threshold jewels and customize those a bit more. Maybe like, I don't know, change them around, build it into the skill gem. I'm just throwing out random stuff here, but I, I feel like GGG has really been slacking over time. And I really hope that they kind of pick up their pace because I'll be honest, I've been getting a bit more bored as the leagues go on and the meta, you know, gets redefined and clear speed meta here and there. So, um, I gotta say I'm losing a bit of interest in the game and I'm really sad and I don't want to leave yet. So I really hope GGG that you know what you're doing and you, you know, next league you are, you are ready to go stronger than ever. So anyway, though, I want to know your guys' opinions on this. Tell me what you guys think, uh, because I'm, I'm just kind of hurt by it. Not, I, I'm not hurt because of like what happened to the economy. I'm more hurt that GGG let this happen, you know? And the last thing I want to say, because I know a lot of people are going to ask, well, what is your solution to this? And of course, I don't work for the company. I don't have a degree in anything except for just nothing. <laughs> um, but I mean, <clears throat> in my opinion, if you're going to allow the ability to dupe in the game as they said it was intended from the form post, you should at least understand that there is a potential repercussion to happen if this happens. So they should have had like a plan B, <coughs> excuse me, on the off chance that something tragic happens because... I mean, let's face it, there's been a lot of really crazy and silly things that have happened and they've hot fixed things and patched things midway league and they should be prepared for this type of stuff. So I'm just a tad bit disappointed. But anyway, 
Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourself. I hope that the Thorny Lion Pelt does go, hopefully, restabilize in price. Because, um, you know, him and his buddy Sanguine Lion Pelt of the Magma are currently up for 4x. But anyway, hope you guys have a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Hopefully, it doesn't affect you guys too much. You know, if you're liking the game, if you're having a lot of fun, then hopefully you guys can ignore this and just continue playing. But uh, I'm going to catch you guys later. Hope you guys had a wonderful time for the 14th time. Remember, if you did like the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. Hope you guys have a wonderful time for the uh, 15th time. I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Take care, everybody.